it's Ryan from 2MinuteTennis.net, and in this video, I'm going to give you three explosive tips that'll greatly improve your serve. Now first, this video is courtesy of Essential Tennis, so thank you so much, Ian, for allowing me to use this footage. Please make sure you're subscribed to Essential Tennis. You can go into the description of this video and click the link to subscribe. Now, first... I want you to go out and film yourself. Please film yourself. How else will you know if you're doing this but other than film yourself and then look at the footage? So the first thing I want to show you here with Golbus's serve is this position right here, how the left arm or his tossing arm is straight up in the air and he has sunk down with his body and turned away from his target. Really explosive positioning right here. He is ready to explode now up, unwinding and uncoiling into this serve. I, I can tell you as a coach for 24 years now, this position is not a position I commonly see. Even with high level recreational players, they typically don't keep their tossing arm up long enough and they definitely don't bend down enough, coiling their body away from the target, away from the service box. So please film yourself and make sure you are doing this. The second tip has to do with not just that you explode up, right? We want you to explode up into the serve, but when you do it, I want you to check this out. I'm going to put a line at the top of Golbus's head. Oh, let me get that right on his forehead. There we go. Now I'm going to show you when he goes up with his body. You, you know, I'm a big fan of knocking off the birthday hat. So right here, he's knocking off the birthday hat. Notice his head is above that yellow line. So he's going up with his body before he hits the birthday hat. So if you're practicing the birthday hat, that's great. Wear a birthday hat, knock it off with your racket. But make sure that you are exploding up with your body prior to hitting the birthday hat. Just like Opelka, just like Dimitrov, just like Isner, just like Kyrgios. The reason is because it maximizes the shoulder stretch this hitting shoulder and the racket drop. The racket drop is violent <laughs> on its way down and then back up again when the body is going up prior to hitting the birthday hat. So at latest, your body should be exploding up as it hits the birthday hat. But if you want to be like Opelka, right? You want to, you want to be like Dimitrov, get your body exploding up as, or I'm sorry, before your racket ever gets the, the uh, gets to the birthday hat. Now you'll notice as he's doing this, that his non-hitting hand, the tossing hand, and his racket are dropping together. It's a very cool thing about high-level serves, that the racket and the tossing hand are up together, and then they go down together. It's a very cool correlation. So if you're a coach, you need to be looking for this, that the racket drop and the tossing hand drop correlates. They go together. Now, here's the third tip. And in order to really understand this tip, we want to look at the Adidas symbol on his shirt. As he is going up to hit the ball, he is going to tuck this tossing arm in against his body. So watch, I've made a lot of videos on this. His, his tossing hand is going to go out and then tuck back in against his body. Watch this. Reaches out, then comes in against the body. Now, let's look, and I want to show you why he's doing this. Let's look at his Adidas on his shirt. You'll notice a lot of movement from the Adidas, right? There's a lot of movement. He's rotating. Here his chest is facing slightly away from the, from the court. Now his chest is starting to rotate and it's basically facing toward the, uh, toward the, uh, the net post basically as he's hitting the ball. But watch hit the Adidas on his shirt. It slows down and it has completely stopped rotating now. His, the Adidas, I'm going to play this basically at full speed. Watch how the Adidas doesn't rotate anymore when he brings his tossing arm in. Check this out. Watch, it, watch the Adidas. Watch the Adidas. Right there, the Adidas stops rotating. I'm going to show you this two more times. Just watch. Watch the Adidas as he is hitting the ball. Notice how the Adidas symbol on his shirt slows down. That's because he's tucking that tossing arm in. Now, many people in the, in the comments will argue, no, Ryan, when you tuck that tossing arm in, your rotation will speed up. 
Here's the thing. You never see the pros rotation speed up. The rotation of the body always slows down. Why do you want to do this? It's a reactive break. When you slow the body's rotation down, the racket speeds up. If you want to put some real firepower into your serve, make sure that your tossing arm, when it drops, reaches out toward the target, then pulls back in against the body. That will slow down or completely stop the body's rotation. And like a slingshot, the racket accelerates through contact. It's unreal. You can see how much elevation he gets. Lands way inside the court. That scorpion leg, back kick, back foot kicking up because obviously he's leaning in because he's landing so far inside the court because he tossed far into the court. So let's go over this again. Again, film yourself. When you toss, get that tossing arm up, bend your knees and turn, not just by going down, but turn away from your target. That way when you explode up, you'll be forced to uncoil into the serve. Get that explosion, not just to happen, but to happen at the right time and make sure that your upward explosion, you can do this. Just film yourself and look to see where your head is. And then when you hit the birthday hat like this, see if your head is higher. That means you exploded up prior to hitting the birthday hat. Many players explode their body up, but they do it at the wrong time. They do it way too late and they lose how effective the the knee load and explosion could be if they just were to do it at the right time. And last, as you unwind into the serve, tuck this tossing arm in against your body and that will slow the body's rotation down in order to accelerate the racket. So go out and film yourself. If you make sure you're doing all three of these ideas on your serve, there's no doubt you're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.